Hi guys. So here I am today with a small B&M haul. As you know, I love B&M for all kinds of reasons. My name's Fawn and this is a happy place. This is a happy channel where I do unboxings and I do hauls and I do some reviews and generally I just make friends and have fun. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, uh, click subscribe and of course leave me a comment. So I finally went back to B&M as mum had made up her mind about the wallpaper. Not my taste. Well, actually it is more my taste than hers. It's just not what I would ever have done for her. But while I was there, I had to keep, pick up a couple of bits and I didn't get too much. I think I was pretty good this time. So if you watched my last B&M haul, please put it down. If you watched my last B&M haul, you'll know that I picked up Christmas pajamas for everyone next door, for the grandkids. And I completely forgot to get them for Lara. And luckily enough, they had them. So they've now all got some. Hers were four pounds. And they're just the same ones, red with Christmas crew on it. But while I was in the pajama aisle, Peppa Pig came to visit. It's a unicorn, Peppa Pig, even with a little unicorn on the, on the pajama bottoms. Really, really cute, really sweet. And I picked those up for 5 99 which is pretty good for branded pajamas. No surprise to anyone, some more microfiber cloths. I use them everywhere, guys. And because they're two pounds for six, I don't have to worry, I can throw them away. It, you know, it's just a no-brainer to have plenty of these around. I picked up some socks for the boys. I find sizing really difficult for the kids, but I think I got the right sizes. They were 3 99 for eight pairs, which is a really good buy. This one is all pirates and stars and stripes and that sort of thing. Um, and this one is sort of skull and crossbones and, um, yeah, more stripes. <laughs> but 3 99 for eight, and they're fresher feet. They're supposed to have an antibacterial something built into them to help keep their feet fresh. Would be good with two little boys. I picked up a foot mask. I couldn't resist. Look at this, it's an elf foot mask. I mean, look at those booties. I could not resist this. It's supposed to be refreshing. It's tea tree and peppermint. So I don't suppose it'll, well, it does say softening on it. I don't imagine, it doesn't come to mind softening, but it does come to mind refreshing and cooling and making my feet feel good after a long day. It was 80 pence and I had to have it. Boring. Tissues from the desk. Looks a bit smarter. I thought the box was really pretty on this. As you know, I love these sorts of green colours. So for baby girl, I got some gloves. Now, if you remember, again, in my last haul, I got gloves for the boys. These are the little mitten type. And we've got a little sort of um, unicorn on the pink, uh, a star on the lilac, and a heart on the cream. They were two pounds for three little pairs of mittens. I think that's marvellous because you know that these are gonna go missing. She's gonna be pulling them off all over the place. But we always have some days where the kids do need something on their little fingers. I got some more mugs for the kids. Well, not mugs, beakers for the kids. They're both Christmas ones. I got, they were a pound each. I got this one, which is navy, with a polar bear and Father Christmas in the snow delivering presents. I got two of that one. And I got two of this one, which has a bus. I presume taking people home for Christmas. The bus even has a Christmas tree on the top but again a pound i know they're christmas and you'd think to yourself well you can only use them for a short time of the year trust me they won't last much beyond christmas with our kids but for a pound again no worries about things breaking and the kids can do what they like with them i got two more of the crystal dishwasher cleaner if you remember i was shocked by how cheap and reasonable this was compared to the big name brands i use i bought two i used two I'm here to tell you, Fabulous works just as well as the more expensive brands. These were 80p each. Um, I'll probably be buying more and stocking up my little cleaning cupboard with them. But I just picked up two for now. I 
I've got a Febreze air mist. I like the Febreze things because you can spray them on fabric, you can spray them on anything, but this one is a limited edition and it's called Sugar Plum Delight. Now, unlike lots of other people, I am not great with the spices. You know, people go on about the Christmas spices, oh, pumpkin spice, oh, cinnamon spice, oh, sorry, it's not for me. Um, it doesn't even bring to mind Christmas because we just never did that. I, I mean, I remember doing one year oranges with all the cloves pushed in. Oh, can't bear it. And yet for a lot of people, that is Christmas. But this is called Sugar Plum Delight and I thought it sounded lovely. I'm gonna spray the arm of my sofa because obviously I couldn't sniff it in store. So let's find out together. Ooh, that's nice. Yep. Yeah, that is, that is really, that is really, really nice. I'm pleased with that and look how pretty it is. If you've got to leave it out somewhere, it's not the end of the world. Here's a grim thing, Emodium Comfort Plus. I'm getting them and putting them away ready for Christmas. Always over Christmas, there is somebody walking around going, oh, oh, oh. And the Comfort Plus ones are particularly good, but they're really expensive. You know, you can buy the, um, the own brand, the supermarket own brand ones, which are a fraction of the price, but they're not Comfort Plus. And these were a really good price in B&M. I paid two eighty nine, and I looked this morning on Sainsbury's, and they're four fifty. So when I go in, I'll get a couple more packets. I mean, you just can't be without them, can you? <laughs> From a Christmas box, you know, of activities with the kids. Look at this. It costs four pounds. It's paint your own Christmas decorations. There are ten different hanging decorations. Like that was a sock. They can paint them because it comes with with the little sets of paints. I mean, they do have paints of their own anyway, so if, you know, if these aren't enough, it won't be the end of the world. Um, they've got some really, really pretty designs, and I thought sort of, you know, five each. It'll keep them quiet for quite a while. They'll probably be the darkest Christmas decorations you've ever seen, because somehow when my kids, my grandkids paint, gradually their colours all turn into a kind of a sludgy grey, because they won't just paint yellow and white. So, but there'll be a memory as well. Lenore, look at the scent on this. It's called Rose Wonderland. I love really, really floral um, fabric softeners. I'm gonna have a sniff, because again, wasn't able to sniff in the store. Oh, I like that. It is rose, but it's, it's subtle. That is a really nice smell. I couldn't resist. They had a whole load of these sort of I don't know, oh, they, this is Mrs. Hinch. Mrs. Hinch's winter edition. I didn't actually realize that. I was gonna say they had a whole load of special edition ones. This is Mrs. Hinch, Rose Wonderland. Perfect. Again for the boys, one each, gotta be done. I got them some of the Crayola ultra clean washable markers. They love these things. Again, they're not really at the age where their pictures look like much although to be fair milo is getting better but um yeah they go through these at a heck of a rate mostly because they lose the lids it gets left out or even worse little lara gets hold of them and what she likes to do is bite the nib off thank god they're non-toxic because if she sees one she's over you think she's done something terrible she turns and looks at you and smiles and all her teeth are all red or black or something because she's chewing on the nib disgusting little child so these were 1.99 a packet i bought two peace and quiet keep them busy and if the worst comes to the worst well lara will have a little feast last few things guys i picked up some hydrogel eye masks these are uh relaxing lavender i love lavender some people hate it i know it's very much a marmite thing um this has got three packets in there of eye masks as i say I love lavender, I love anything that will help with this. And to be honest, I feel a little bit facey today. Do you know what I mean when I say that? Sort of when you touch the bones in your face, they sort of feel like they're a bit, not bruised, but sensitive. So I probably will have a lie down later on and put one of this, these sets on, put some of these on. Um, yeah, a pound? I thought that was very good value. For $2.99, I picked up a pack of eight fake tea lights. You know, if you've been watching me for a while, that I've picked up loads and loads of things just recently for Christmas and so on that require a tea light. But also, 
we've got lots of kids around here so anything that i want to be on a level where the children can see it can have one of these in they're the nice ones they look like they're flickering um and they are color changing so the kids would think that was really funny if the lights were if the, the candles were changing color and throwing different lights around the room and for 2 99 i think that's really good value and the very last thing was a letter to santa bumper pack it costs a pound it has only one letter but the boys can do it together because um milo's writing is somewhat better than levi's but they can both write on it it's got a door hanger to say santa stop here it's even got some little thank you cards and envelopes it's a pound again it'll keep them busy in the run up to christmas i might even keep them busy over christmas writing thank you letters <laughs> so there we go that was my latest haul as i say it's a funny one this one there's not lots and lots for you to be amazed at i am going to have to go back because I still have my Christmas decoration shopping to do. I haven't done that yet. I've said it has to wait at least till the month of November. And of course it's November tomorrow. So I will be going there and going mad and getting some more things to go with my beautiful stag that lives over here. Um, so yeah, that was it. I hope you're all well. I hope you get a chance to go to B&M and try some of these things. And uh, I hope lockdown isn't too bad wherever you are. They're threatening lockdown again here. I'm not sure whether it's going to happen. But um, keep your chins up, ladies. We're going to make it through this. Okay. Bye, guys.